All right, well, I am doing the oil change on this beast today. Because it has been three months. Oh, let's get her open here. Look at that. I got one of those fancy jobs there. Stays up by itself. Yes, uh... Oh, pull the cap off. And I do that so that I know that I need oil. Speaking of oil, I need to go grab it. It's nice to work for a part supplier because I only paid 1989 prices. Oh, let's get this thing up in the air. I got one of those fancy ones too. That all comes up. You know you have a car you don't trust when you keep all your tools in it. I'll also be greasing up the fittings because you know you pay 50 bucks for a five minute oil change and they don't lube up any fittings. So I'll be doing that too. So I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing here. In fact, I think the bolt is on the other side. But the filter is on this side. Got a red transmission, look at that. Fancy. Filter's up here somewhere. She's right there. Whoa. Eco guard. Woohoo. She broke loose. Good. Actually, surprised there's no oil leaks. It's pretty dry. Ooh, don't have oil coming down. Hmm. A little dirty. That's three thousand miles. So, huh. all right. Well, that's draining. I'm gonna wipe off the. Mounting surface. And <laughs> don't know what that is. What the fuck? What the 
fucking sad. I don't know if I need that. That kind of fell out. Ooh, okay. Well, let me stop this here. All right, well, here's something very odd for northerners to see. 30 some years old and there's no rust underneath. It's a pretty good shape. Kind of surprised me too, but I did find one thing. Uh, hmm. yeah. um, as someone explained to me why there might be Ice scripts up in here. <laughs> it looks like it's holding this bracket for the strut bar. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of sketchy, but I'm not going to mess with it because it's working right now. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh boy. All right, well. I'll continue with the oil change and there's a couple other things I want to show you. Alrighty, now that I've done a premium oil change, let's start this up. level it is hot today <clears throat> Ooh, focus there uh, you can't see it but I can't see it and it's right on level all right well last time I was showing about my my fuel pump relay having to wire that up <clears throat> and I replaced the oil sender also had to replace the radiator fan <clears throat> I put in a 200 uh, degree fan switch replaced the air intake valve Replace the compressor, new battery, new alternator, kind of flushed it out. <clears throat> I had a little problem with it stumbling, and then the, as days went on, it started dying on, and on, dying on me, so I had to replace the the ignition module so I did that and it seems to be running very well with that uh, back here is what I wanted to show <laughs> yep those are vice grips blocking off the rear brakes some reason this guy had I don't know what he thought so that's another problem I'm gonna have to tackle but he's got new springs in it with uh, air shocks Heavy duty exhaust going into three inch tips. I 
I replaced the rims, tires. Replaced the gauge bezel and the plastic. I found a radio straight from the 90s. It's just a CD player. It does not play MP3s at all. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, this button that he did have for starting the car. Well, if it doesn't want to work now. Oh well. I have that as my horn button. There it goes. So I did end up replacing the ECM. It was not setting the signal to activate the, the relay for the fuel pump. So I found that online, got it replaced. Oh, let's see. And now I can start the car. Idles pretty well. trust which is actually a really good thing because I daily drive this thing so all right hope you liked the video I know I didn't really go into detail about the oil change but hopefully you know how to do an oil change see you in the next one